Hey guys, welcome to Math in 60 Second. Today we're going to be talking about factoring trinomials. This is the first part of a two-part series here. What we're going to be talking about today is, first off, what is a trinomial? Well, it's a term or a polynomial that has three different terms, and it always looks pretty much like this. It's normally going to be an x squared, an x, and a number. All right, if we're going to factor this down here, the first thing we're going to do is break this into two sets of parentheses. Now, the numbers in front need to multiply to what is in front, which is x squared. So we need an x and an x to make that multiply to x squared. Now, the numbers in back need to multiply to negative 20 and add to 8. First, think about the multiples of 20 in your head, excuse me, the numbers that can multiply to be 20, like uh, 4 and 5. Well, 4 and 5, adding or subtracting, there's no way that could make 8, so we can toss that one out. Uh, 2 and 10. Yeah, 2 and 10, that could turn out to be 8. Here's what I'm going to do. Put my 2 and my 10, then you're going to multiply the inside ones, 2x, and multiply the outside ones, 10x. If we want that to be 8x, what would your signs have to be there? Hopefully you can see it would need to be a negative 2 and a positive 10 to give us positive 8. So I'm going to put those signs up here. Negative go first, positive goes second. So there's your answer, guys. x minus 2 and x plus 10. Please join us next time for the Factoring Trinomials Part 2. We'll talk about the more difficult versions. All right, thanks a lot. I'll talk to you again soon.